Um, okay, so I am the owner of M3 Performance, which is my online coaching company. So I do online competition prep and lifestyle uh, clients. And then I also train full time. So um, yeah, so I'm a functional nutritionist, online coach, and then trainer, I suppose. Sophomore year of college, I started training for a competition. And after that, I was completely hooked and I've done nine shows. I got started actually with powerlifting because my boyfriend at the time was like getting really into that and followed a couple YouTubers and so we were just like following along with their workouts and kind of learning about it together. Um, and then after that we, we broke up and I was just like doing my own thing in the gym. Um, and when we had started I was like you know it would be really cool if I ever reach my goal to do a bodybuilding show like to do like a bikini show. Well I got kind of a late start I was actually homeschooled all the way till college in like a rural town. So I was never in PE, I was never in sports because there was just nothing available um, for us out there. So I actually didn't really step foot in a gym until like my senior year of college, like ever. I'd been um, technically overweight like my whole life, never been anything active before. I had no intention of like being a bodybuilding athlete. Um, so I was just like, well, I'm just gonna do it once and just see. And then I do probably have a slightly neurotic personality. And so I was like, I love this. Um, I started training like a bodybuilder about two years ago. Um, so that was about two years into consistently working out. And then I started training like a bodybuilder and that's been about two years going on. Um, and I started doing that because I realized that the body I wanted was not going to be achieved through merely cardio. I am, as of right now, with the coach that I do have, I am training like a bodybuilder. Um, so I'm doing everything that they're doing essentially, but I'm not competing. Uh, it would affect my day-to-day -day life a little bit too much, and I just can't do that as of right now, but maybe in the future. When you're a bodybuilder, especially when you're a professional bodybuilder, um, your whole life kind of revolves around it. Mental state going into it is to mentally give your best every single day, to not look at like the end of the road, but look at each day as a new opportunity to check off all your boxes and to make sure that you're executing on every single part of your protocol. Um, so it's not about, you know, looking at the whole journey, but trying to be perfect every single day, and that adds up. Usually you're up pretty early like checking in with your coach like first thing when you wake up like without having eaten or you know drank anything you're sending pictures or maybe they're even seeing you in person um you've got a couple coats of tan on at that point um no makeup your hair is usually looking crazy and so you're kind of waiting to hear your coach's feedback on like what your first meal of the day should look like um so you're checking in with your coach and then you're pretty much heading to glam so you know you're got to get your third coat of second or third coat of tan that the morning of the show and you're getting your hair and your makeup done all that good stuff um, usually the show itself for prejudging starts at like 8 30 in the morning usually start with guys um, and I'm a bikini competitor so usually that's dead last so bikini competitors may not go on until like 1 or 2 p.m. so it's a pretty long waiting game so you're all glam and you're ready to go but you're just kind of trying to like keep yourself kind of warmed up and calm backstage, and it's just, you're just waiting. When I, you know, started my first competition, I got my best grades, and I, you know, like, started being treated better by all the people around me, because I held myself to a higher standard, and then I started showing up better in my life, so kind of seeing the motivation and the drive that, like, that gave me keeps me motivated throughout, because it helps, it's kind of like an anchor point for me, so it, like, shows me that I have the total mental fortitude to like get to where I need to be and also to uh, just do whatever I want. So it's like, you know, whatever goal I set for myself, I can achieve it. I guess if you've ever thought about competing, know that like anybody can compete and I think it's an amazing experience for anybody to go through because it challenges you physically, mentally, like everything it challenges you. And it also makes you kind of reflect and think about, you know, like, what relationships you're pouring energy into, what relationships you're not pouring energy into, like what's worth your energy, what's not. Like it's a really great exercise in mental fortitude and also in like self-love and like um, uh, self-respect. And so I think that it's an amazing experience. I'd recommend for anybody that even wants to do it, to do it. Um, and you'll know if you love it or if you hate it, like 
pretty quick. So um, yeah, I just drop that there. And also if you do decide to find a coach for either like competition prep or just for lifestyle, make sure that you ask all the questions, um, know that you're never a bother, that it's really good to have all that information before you start with somebody because there's a hundred, probably a hundred thousand different ways to do it. Um, you just want to find somebody that has your health first in mind. So it's not a healthy sport. It's an extreme sport. Anybody that says differently doesn't understand. Um, so just know that it's not healthy, but you can get a lot of healthy habits from it.